Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I decorated my home for Halloween. I definitely got a late start on decorating this year, but I still wanted to share how everything turned out. And I'm also going to be sharing a few photos from my recent trip to Salem. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. We make a lot of DIYs on this channel and the Christmas season is right around the corner. I want to get started in the kitchen because I just love how this little area turned out. So over here, I have my small dining table, but I wanted to make sure just to put something in the middle that was gonna make a real impact. And I wanted to give it some height. So I found this really cool tree, but let's start over here. So on the wall, I always have these four frames up and usually I just have something neutral in them, but for the holidays, I do like to change them out and add something very seasonal. I downloaded these art prints from Etsy. I'll be sure to link them down below. They were very inexpensive and I just printed them at home and added them to my frames. Then I just added a few bats on top. And now over here, we have my little skeleton. I've had him for a few years, but I usually just leave him in the living room, but I thought it'd be fun to position him at the kitchen table. And then since I kind of went with a witch theme this year, I had to add the witch hat. So the witch hat was actually something I had just purchased from Amazon for my trip to Salem. But I figured what a great use to just add it onto the skeleton. I actually love this witch hat. It is so pretty. I love the spooky veil with the spiders. I'll be sure to link that down below. And then over here on my kitchen table, I already had these witch placemats. These are a year or two old from Home Goods, but I wanted to just add something really big in the middle. So I found this tree. This is also from Amazon and so are the ornaments. Again, I will leave both of these linked down below. This has to be one of my most favorite decorations I've picked up in recent years. It is so beautiful. It's really unique. It's different from anything I've seen in the stores and I was just so impressed with the quality so a lot of different options to choose from for ornaments i went with this pack here because it had a really nice mix it has the pumpkin skull ghost and witch hat and i just thought it would go perfectly with my theme this year so moving over to my coffee bar area i usually like to get really fun with this area this year though since i was very limited on time i did keep it really simple i just have some of my favorite coffee mugs on display a little ghost sign in the back and then a diy skull planter to the right i do believe almost all of these mugs are actually still in stock i will be sure to link those down below over here is a little pumpkin he holds my sweetener i did pick him up last year and this was the diy skull planter i was talking about this was a dollar tree diy from this year this one definitely turned out to be one of my favorite diys that we made this year it is so pretty definitely does not look like a dollar tree diy if you did not get a chance to see that video i will link that video down below in the video description box Next up, we are going to move on to the living room. So over here, I have my little bench and I will say that this area is kind of a work in progress still. I still was not 100% sold on the way it turned out. So I probably will be moving things a little bit more. But down here at the bottom, I have my little witch broom. This was one of my first DIYs ever on my channel. I think about three years ago, but I still love to decorate with it every year. Over here on my bench, I have my ghost pillow. I did pick him up last year at Home Goods, but I have seen him the last few years. And then I have my little vampire greeter. He is so cute. He was actually a Costco find, I believe a year ago and he is just adorable he actually had a, another one that they sold which was a frankenstein i'm gonna have him later on in the video i tried to find him online so i could link him i did find one but he was a little bit pricey but you might be able to find him from a few different places on amazon on my small chair here i have my little skeleton pillow that one is from home goods my bat pillow is from target and then over here is something kind of very different. This is the Headless Horseman, of course, from Sleepy Hollow. And this is one of my largest DIYs ever. So this one I actually made a few years ago for a competition. And every part of this I did hand make. I purchased a mannequin from Amazon and then just decided to make all the clothes myself because I couldn't really find anything that was working. So I made the chest plate, the cape, I got some old buttons and made a little chain 
and it was just a really really fun project I made the collar at the top and it was definitely just something really different to try and I was really happy with how it turned out but I never really display him he's just been in my basement the last few years but I thought it would be fun to bring him up and just have him on display in the living room for Halloween especially since I got a late start on decorating this year I didn't bring out all of my decorations so I thought it would be fun to bring up something different and large to kind of just give it that spooky feeling next to the headless horseman I have a new find from this year so this is the haunted house from Target and I instantly fell in love with this. This looks to me almost identical to the Salem Witch House. I did actually visit that too. I'm going to show a picture in a few seconds. But it just comes with the house. And then all of these little miniatures here are ones that I actually already had from Michael's. They're a few years old. But Target does also sell miniatures. So this is the Salem Witch House. And it kind of looks the same. It definitely just has that same feeling to it. So I knew I wanted to grab that one this year to add to my collection. I did to keep the pillows pretty simple this year. So all of the neutral pillows are just ones I already had on the sofa. And then I just added a few Halloween ones in for a pop of color. This one here is one I've had for years, but this ghost was actually a DIY last year on my channel. So I'll be sure to link that video if you want to check it out. A ghost pillow inspired by the viral Pottery Barn one but it was really easy to make and it was a fraction of the cost is the other greeter that i was talking about before the frankenstein one that i had picked up at costco his little pumpkin lights up and he has such a cute face unfortunately i couldn't find a link for him though and then over here on the coffee table i just have our bat topiary and this was a diy on the channel all i did was grab some twigs from outside spray paint them black and add on these little bat clips from Dollar Tree. The table has this small nook in the front, so I figured this was the perfect area to display my Sanderson sisters. And then the little brooms next to them are a DIY. Next, I'm gonna move on to my console table in my living room. And this is definitely the area that gets the most decorations. <laughs> Starting off to the right, I have this DIY light up ghost and I actually shared the DIY for this ghost on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me there. I do share a lot of DIYs and behind the scenes everyday stuff. So I'll leave that link down below if you are not following me on Instagram yet. But it was really simple to make and I thought it would be the perfect addition to this little table. As you can see, I definitely went with the witch theme over here. And when I think of witches and decorations for witches, I always think of purple. That color just seems to really resonate with me with the whole witch vibe. So you will definitely see that incorporated a lot into this decor. So I wanted to be sure to put little pops of purple everywhere as well as black and some richer brown colors. And the idea with the table was to basically just anchor both ends of it with a little bit of height. So starting off over here, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous witch hat. That was a new purchase from Michaels and I do think it is still available. I'm going to leave that link down below. It is on major sale right now. I believe it's 60% off and it is stunning. This broom over here was actually really special because I got to make it in Salem this year. I took a broom making class, which was so much fun and it was definitely a memory I will keep forever. Moving on to the middle here, I have this All Hallows Eve sign and this was a home goods find from a few years ago. And then I just have a few pumpkins. And how beautiful is this lace runner? You will not believe where this is from. This gorgeous lace runner is from Dollar Tree and it was a $1.25. I was very, very impressed with the quality. Over here on this end, I have this large candelabra. This is actually a thrifted find that I just spray painted black. In the back, I have my hand painted man in the moon and then just some books and a few more pumpkins. Moving on down to the first cubby here, I have this large wooden painted sign of the Hocus Pocus locations. It is called the Map of Salem. This is actually from Spirit Halloween, but it's so cute. It has a lot of the locations on it. My favorite is Max and Danny's house, which is so special because I did get to visit it this year for the first time in Salem. And it was honestly just the most amazing experience seeing all these places in real life. I grew up watching this movie every single year. It is such a treasured tradition for me. So to get to see these places in real life was just so wild. 
Over here is our little DIY black flame candle that we made last year on this channel. And in the back there, I have a witch with a faux tea light in it, and she has a little toad in her brew, which is really fun. And then this witch clock hat I've had for a few years. I do get questions on this a lot. I'm so sorry. I could not find a link for it. That is from Michael's originally. Hopefully next year they come out with something very similar because that is definitely one of my favorite finds from the last few years. Here I wanted to make sure to continue our color theme. So we have a little bit of purple, some black, and some browns. Of course, I had to display my DIY spell book from Hocus Pocus. This is also a DIY on this channel. I will be sure to link this one down below. Of course, I had to bring this to Salem with me and grab a few photos, but this one is held up really well and almost everything on it is from Dollar Tree. It was a really easy DIY. It took a little bit of time. There are a few different steps to it, but trust me, anyone can do this. So if you've always wanted your own Hocus Pocus spell book, definitely check out that video. It is a really easy DIY and I will walk you through all of the steps. And then over here for the last cubby hole, I definitely wanted to get at least a little bit of purple in there. So I have my skeleton in the back. Then I have this Hocus Pocus book, which if you are familiar with the movie, this is where it basically opens up in the beginning of the film. It kind of has this exact book and then the book opens up. So this is actually also from Spirit Halloween. Quality is amazing. It's actually just a blank journal, but I just love to have it out for display. Then I have a lantern, and then over here is a really, really special piece. This is a thrifted find. It is this painted wooden bowl, and it is so beautiful. I just absolutely love it. It definitely has that vintage Halloween look to it. You know right away that this is a Halloween cat. It's so vibrant. The colors are so fun. So I knew I had to find a place to display that this year. And that is everything for this year. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Halloween house tour. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoy DIYs. I am getting ready to start all of the Christmas DIYs. Halloween is my favorite, but Christmas is a close second. So I am really excited to start the Christmas DIYs very soon. Thank you so much for watching.